Day 34 of the 100 day project. So today is inspired by 100. So I've decided to do the same as Rach after speaking with her and I've picked one of my favorite books, um, which is by Anne Kelly. And I've turned to page 100 and look at these beautiful birdhouses with the books as the roofs and they're made out of paper, which I thought was perfect. So I decided to make some little journal cards inspired by the images in Anne Kelly's book with a little cutout with some acetate to make a window so the little bird is peeking its head through. Uh, so I'm using some scrapbooking paper and I'm going to make, I've made that first card as a trial run and now I'm going to make three more. So I measured the, um, the height is four inches. So I've cut four inches in height and then the width um, because the card is opened out, so that's four up, it's six across. So I cut four by six for each of my papers. So all the papers that I'm using are coming from this uh, paper pad here that I just got this week, and it's by Jen Hadfield, um, and I pick... I use four different papers in total for the um, base of the birdhouses and then four for the roofs as well. And I think I repeat um, one of the papers, which is the pretty green one with flowers. So all my scrapbooking papers are ready and now I'm just going to pick um, some tea dyed graph paper and also plain paper that is going to be used for the inside. I want it to be fairly blank on one side because that's going to be a space for journaling. So I cut these down in the same dimensions which is 6 by 4 and they will go onto the inside of the scrapbooking paper. So these are now papers that I'm going to use to make the little peaked roofs. Um, so this pretty pink flower one, um, I use a little set square, I think that's what they're called, to get a, a peak roof peak, which is at a right angle. Um, so I just line it up with the bottom and I draw it along and then I cut out the little triangle and then I'm going to... Um, draw another line about it's about maybe a bit more than a quarter of an inch in width to make the peak for um, each of the roofs so I'll do that with each paper and then you'll see how I I cut it down to be a smaller size
So with each of my base pieces, I fold them in half. So they end up being um, three inches wide in width and they're still four inches in height. So I do that with each one to make my three extra journaling cards. And then I'll do the exact same thing with the papers that are going to go on the inside, just folding them in half so that when I glue them down, they fit nicely on the inside of my cards. All my papers are folded and ready to go. Now I'm going to make my roofs. So I just eyeball it. I don't make it perfect. It's a little bit over a quarter of an inch. And I'll just draw another line and that will give me my cut line to cut out my roof piece. Um, so I do that with each one. And you'll see that they're a little bit long. Um, you could have your roof piece coming off the edge like they do with a lot of bird houses. Um, but the card, if you were to glue it down into a journal, won't fold open properly because there'd be a little piece of roof getting in the way, if you can understand what I mean. Um, so what I do is I cut them and then I'll actually glue them onto the um, card and then I'll, I'll trim them down. You'll, you'll see what I mean in a minute. So that one will go on that card, etc. I need to cut out the peak of the roof so I'm going to measure one and a half inches down from the top of the roof because I've worked out that that's where my set square will go um, so I use my set square again I put that peak it ends up lining up right in the middle uh, which is one and a half inches across because it's three inches across the whole card and then I do that on each one and then I will cut them out with my um, paper cutter thing So I get my paper trimmer and what I do is I just line it up on that drawn line that I've drawn to get that 45 degree angle. Do that on both sides and you've got your little peak for your birdhouse. So I'm going to glue on the first peaked roof so it fits perfectly lining up with the card. Um, I'm going I'm using PVA glue here. Um, it's just would be a stronger hold than the glue stick um, and because it's cardboard on cardboard and also there's because this has got a bit of a gold stripe it's a bit of a glossy cardboard so I thought the PVA would work best. So I've just smudged it along the edge there trying to sort of approximate how much I'd need for the width of that roof piece. And then you can see the flaps are hanging over on the end. Um, what I do is I actually cut them off to perfectly fit the shape of the birdhouse just so that when you do open the card there isn't a roof piece that gets in the way. Um, so you know it, it does look good with it just sort of sticking out of the edge with a, a square end but um, this is more practical so that you can open up your card.
So my three bird houses are now done and they're ready to get their little hole. So I use washi tape to draw a circle. Sorry, I had a few attempts there at drawing my circle um, to get it centered. I decided to use washi tape for the first one. I actually used a circle hole punch um, that I have, but I felt like the punch was a little bit small and also because I couldn't get it right into the middle of the card, it, I found it was a little bit too high as well. So with this one, I've just um, used the washi tape to get that circle and then I've hand cut it. It's not super perfect. A die cut would be better. Um, I do need to get myself some more die cuts and I should get myself some circle ones because that would actually work really well and it would be perfect. Um, so the first card that I do here... I decide to glue down the bottom part of my graph paper so that I can um, draw the line on it and I can lift the top part and be able to cut it. But you'll see that it's a bit awkward, so I actually pull up the glue piece. Um, and then with the other two cards, I change the te technique and the, the next technique is far better. So now I'm happy with my circle cutting. I get a little piece of acetate. Now this acetate has come from junk mail envelopes where I've actually just ripped out the window from those envelopes and I've cut them in half and that's what I'm using. Um, so I just glue that down, just with glue stick is fine. It works well. And then what I do is I run the glue all over the, um, the rest of the card so that I can stick down that graph paper, paper securely. Everything stuck down well and now I just trim off that excess graph paper to give the peak of the birdhouse again using my paper trimmer.
So my three bases for my cards are done and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start decorating the front. So I want to use some of these embossed papers. They're just book pages. I've embossed these two with some um, Tracy Holmes um, embossing folders, which I just got this week. And I really um, just want to put a little, little bit on each one as I did on my first trial uh, card that I did. The front covers are done. I'm just finishing off with some Tracy Fox labels. And now I've paired my bird up with the card that I want it to go with. And now I'm going to collage the right hand side of the inside and I'll leave the left hand side blank so that it can be a space for journaling.
So all done. The first one actually looks a tiny bit different to the other ones because the hole is smaller and also higher, but I decided that I wanted to put it down a bit lower and make it a bit bigger so you can see more of the bird. So I hope you like my little bird journaling cards. You could also um, stick some plain paper on the very back if you want to, to have another journaling space and these would go in a tuck, um, like in a tuck space or in a pocket, or you could actually stick them straight down into your journal um, with that back side being glued down or stuck down as a pocket. Um, so these were fun to make. I think you could do them in lots of different colors and have some really pretty birds. And I hope I will see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.